I've got our next move. We need to talk. To think I looked up to these ancianos. Don't waste your time. We're freeing El Este with or without them. You need to talk to my boss, Yelena. And you need to see our operation up close. Swing by El Agujero. It's La Moral's badass headquarters in Concepcion. Say this password to our doorman. Muerto el perro, se acabó la rabia. I'll tell Yelena you're on your way. Hola. Dani, the farmers in Fernando municipality has been extremely helpful to Libertad. And now they are getting a lot of pressure from the regime every single day. What can I do? You should talk to Senora Toca and see what she needs. She's the president of the farmers' collectives there. I'm on it. She just told Libertad that her farmers are about to break our agreement. We really need these people on our side, Danny. Danny, where you at? Getting close, I think. So you know, Yelena's the big boss. I'm team captain, and you won't be able to miss Gilberto. Why? Who's Gilberto? Only the most fabulous spy in Oloviara. You can't even fart in El Este without Gilberto's network hearing about it. Spies and hackers. La Moral sounds like the real deal. We don't fuck around. And if you've never been to Concepcion before, the place has got a curfew. When the sun goes down, soldados come out. Thanks for the heads up. Coño, I got a helicopter on my ass. Call me when you get there. On the run. I'm at Concepcion. How do I find La Moral? I'll send you a pic. Show no one. What are you sending me? It will help you find the door. Don't forget the password and remember. Curfew. Muerto el perro, se acabó la rabia. Welcome to El Agujero. Try anything and I'll cut your head off and use it as a football. Nice to meet you too. My name's Danny. Alfredo. Down the stairs. Volunteers. I'll talk to my people, honey. Be Jorge Nana's gangs are probably on the ship. You're Yelena? Mierda. Danny, right? Where's my medicine? You mean Libertas meds? I gave them to the legends. No. You handed it to some retirees shitting their diapers on top of a mountain. What could you possibly want from them? We need more than bullets and guerillas to take down Castillo. Like it or not, Yaranos love the legends. Clara Garcia loves her politics. Good luck getting those abuelos off their asses. We could use La Moral's help. You know why Clara never told you about us? Because to her, we're just a bunch of kids playing with guns. She loves to talk about the future. But it's her future, not ours. Clara's just a Castillo who lost his dick. So you have a better plan for Yara? Bullets first, politics later. You said you needed volunteers. Admiral Benitez got the jump on us a couple of hours ago. She's holding my people hostage on a cargo ship. I'll go. Alone? I don't get it. Consider us even for the meds. Save my people and I'll think about it. Mm -hmm. For real? Libertad? No shit. You saving our people, right? That's the plan. I know a farmer with a helicopter who can fly you out to the ship. Follow me. <laughs> hey. 
Take all the assault. Be nice to him. Easy now, easy. Whoa! Easy, girl. Vamos! Whoa, now! You're with Libertad? I am. I think it would be great if we joined forces. Yeah? We've been fighting and we've been winning. But Admiral Benitez will always have more than we do. We kill one soldado today. Tomorrow they get replaced with three more. And when La Moral people die... Where are you going? So, yeah. And when La Moral people die, there's no one replacing them? Not yet. On top of that, the farmers and the people just trying to survive don't want to fight. We need fresh blood. Real fighters. What about getting the legends to join? We tried. Now, where are you going? So, yeah, we tried. None of those abuelos want to fight. I heard a lot of them even support Castillo. You heard wrong. Well, I don't see any abuelos fighting now. I'm working on it. So, how do these farmers get a helicopter? They built it from the parts of ones we shot down. Tinga. These farmers are 100% on our side. The other farmers are not? You're with Some are. Right? Some are with... What's going on? Yelena called. Do you want to lift to that boat? Let's do this. Get in. Tick tock, Libertad. Hop in. Let's fly. My name's Calixto. Danny! I'm going to be careful and stay low. I'll get you as close as I can. Where did you learn how to fly? I did my basic service as a pilot a couple of years ago. I got kicked out for calling the captain a cove mierda. <laughs> I was kicked out of the ground forces. Turns out drill sergeants don't like getting punched in the throat. Good to know. I never seen you before. When did you join La Moral? <laughs> Wait. I was told you were with La Moral. I'm doing this rescue as a favor. I'm with Libertad. What can you tell me about La Moral? You know that village? They call it Maldito. That the real name? Yeah. Some Spaniard named it back in 1490, whatever. A couple of months ago, Admiral Benitez decided to make it illegal to go to the water and fish. The people protested. Benitez executed half the town. So what does La Moral do? They track and kill every last soldado who did the executing. And I'm not talking about guerrilla ambush jungle shit. I'm talking about following them to their homes and sneaking their throats while their families are asleep. Assassin shit. These kids are smart, coordinated, and cold-blooded. Sounds like it. That's show pass. We keep tabs on military convoys passing through them and report them to La Moral. Seems like they run a tight operation. These kids are on the ball. Yelena is more organized than the military. La Moral's got our back. When Admiral Panitas started getting rough with our families, La Moral got rough back. Killed any soldado who dared to step foot on our lands. Pretty soon, they stopped coming. The ship! I can't get you any closer! This is great! Gracias, mi amigo! Good luck saving those people! Esperando órdenes. Coño. 
Sí, también. Mucho mejor que esto. Yo debería estar en la primera línea. Recibido. Quietos en bajo. ¿Cojones? ¿Mataría el capitán contratar a alguien para iniciar este lugar? Aquí todo en orden. Una horita más y ya. Some of our fighters in a container over the hole. Save them. Yelena, I'm on the ship. I freed as many as I could. Hang tight. I am sending boats and backup. Gracias. This is Admiral Benitez. To the fake Yaran terroristas, I have you right where I want you. At this very minute, military forces are heading to your position. I recommend laying down your weapons and taking one last look at a nation that does not want you. Instead of peacefully serving Yara as outcasts, you will die. Right here. Right now.
Konia. Where are those boats, Yelena? They're waiting for you to clear the air. Can somebody tell those planes to hold still? Don, your people are safe. I heard. We even for the supplies? Fuck yeah. Need me for anything else? I have to talk to Gilberto first. But you'll be hearing from me. You got my number. Gracias. You're not so bad, Annie. But you better keep an eye out. If you weren't on Admiral Benitez's radar already, you are now. Welcome to the real El Este. Danny, how is my legend? Getting old a bit too fast, if that's what you mean. I should head back to the camp. See what else I can do. I never promised an easy fight. Just the right one. Clara, I've met La Moral. Why didn't you send me to them first? La Moral? Last I heard, they were a small group always on the edge of falling apart. They're doing more fighting than the legends. Okay, but watch your step. La Moral has a bad rep, and I don't want Libertas' name to be dragged down with him. I'll keep my eyes open. All of a sudden, the people in Concepcion have been fighting ever since Castillo was... It's been too weeks.
Those medical supplies will put a lot of guerrillas back together. Gracias. Lucky appreciates them too, even if she doesn't show it. And bringing La Morale was smart. This camp needs young blood. Shakes things up. Now we need to work on Lorenzo. Half the abuelos out there hang on his every word. Honron said Lorenzo should visit a BioVira facility. But getting Lorenzo to do anything is like pulling a tank through the mud, sideways. I'm going to give him a little reminder of what we stood for. And you are going to bring the BioVita to him. All you got to do is tiptoe in, take photographs of anything suspicious, and get out. For a so-called research facility, they have way more guns than lab coats down there. They're hiding something, baby Tigre. And we're going to slap Lorenzo in the face with whatever it is. Hope you have good camera skills. What do you kids say? No. Baby Tigre, while you're at the facility, there's someone I want you to look for. Who? Her name's Gabriella. She's a girl from the fishing village. Used to bring us food and supplies. Lorenzo used to tease her for her tattoos and her crazy hair colors. We loved her visits, until one day she told us she had some good news and said she'd be leaving Yara. That was the last time we saw Gabriella. My neighbor thought he saw her at that BioVita place. Tattoos and colorful hair. I'll keep an eye out. Gracias. I'm worried something terrible has happened. Better watch my step. My Got eyes on an engineer. Sounds came from in there. I've got a bad feeling about this place.
all of this bullshit about treating cancer? What are they doing to these people? Sonia. They're using humans like rats. What are they testing? Castillo's not going to get away with this. I need more pigs. What is going on here? I think I'm going to be sick. Castillo, you fucking monster. I need more pigs. This should be enough to convince Lorenzo. El Tigre, I've got the pics. You won't believe what they're doing to our people. It's horrific. Oh, I believe it. But it's Lorenzo who needs convincing. And what about Gabriela? I don't know what to tell you. She's gone. Uh, I had a feeling. Okay, get those photos back to camp. It's time for Lorenzo to wake up. We were just kids, El Tigre. <laughs> <laughs> Lorenzo, I took pictures of that place when Ron was talking about. You swipe to the left. They look free to you. Yeah. This is what Libertà and La Moral are fighting. You can hate us, but at least we're doing something about it. No one deserves this, Lorenzo. This is happening all over Yara. You just can't see it from so high up this mountain. I can't look at this anymore. I didn't vote for Castillo. The war is over. So that was a waste. That's the end. We shoot the tree. What are you looking at? Some of the old Danny, guns. come back to El Aguero. She is getting real. We need to rally our people and talk next steps. Dale. Really? And you should hear something. Come here. When I was your age, I lived every moment like it was my last. In battle, adrenaline runs hot and passions are deep. Love during La Revolución was like the battlefields we fought on. Complex and soaked in rum. I have wounded the hearts of countless women who wanted more from me during those days. Miguelina, sweet Miguelina, I committed a war crime with her heart. She was my first. When she said the word love, I ran away. I am such a coward. Today, as I take stock of the damage I've done, I realize I must make amends. I need you to bring this letter to her. 
Miguelina's mind is still at war with Gabriel Castillo and maybe a little bit with me as well. I tried to visit her, but she has built defenses around her wounded heart. Maybe my letter can change that. Kindness is the sun in the twilight of my life. Be well. Miguelina? Who are you? I'm a friend of Lorenzo's. Are you one of his children? What? No. Look, I have a letter from him. A letter? Why didn't you just say so? I did, three times. Lorenzo apologizing? To me? My heart. I can feel it beat again. I'm carried on the wings of butterflies. Cool. I'm just going to head out. Shh. I'm reading. <laughs> Lorenzo, I just delivered your letter to Miguelina. You couldn't warn me about all her booby traps? Dios mío, is she hurt? I'm fine, thanks for asking. Miguelina's fine too. She's just trapped in the past, like a lot of you legends. I hope my apology will put her on the path to closure. Now, Danny, please come back. I have another favor that needs favoring. Okay, Lorenzo. I don't know how much history you kids read, but our revolution was a bloodbath. Yara endured so many casualties, and so many beautiful women were widowed, alone, yearning to feel something other than despair. I am responsible for countless victory children. I fathered them, but I was no father. Instead of doing the right thing, I ran into the arms of the next woman. For decades, hundreds of mothers wrote me. They sent pictures of my children. I denied my part. I hid in this mountain. One can hide for only so long. The guilt of being a bad papa pulls my heart into the ground. I am too ashamed to see them. And honestly, 
a little terrified of what they might do. That's why I have penned these letters. Just a couple to start. Can you please deliver them? I will send you pictures of my children, ones their mother sent me. You are a smart one. You can figure out where they live with a quick glance. Gracias, Danny. May the wind protect you on this journey to mend hearts. Hey, nice work with that rescue. I heard you kick me. What's happening? Meeting on the mound. Some of our friends want to quit early. Okay, listen up. This isn't worth killing for. Sure as hell isn't worth dying for. We're young. We should be out there drinking and fucking and skipping school. Woo! Our parents and grandparents already stole our future. Why should we give a shit? That's what I used to think. And then one day, Admiral Benitez walked into my classroom with a gun. She called on your name, you came to the front. One by one. Alvarez. Bermudez. Carrillo. The Admiral read their crimes. Protesting, handing out pamphlets, liking a Clara Garcia post. Fernandez, Jimenez, Peña. I learned a lesson on my last day at school. You can either be on the right side of history or the wrong side of Castillo's guns. Wise words, young guerrilla. La Moral taking new members? Depends. What? Is there an age limit? I will bleed for La Moral. If you take me. Welcome to the war, viejo. <laughs> so how do we take out the Admiral? Push-ups are the first step to victory. The Grand Hotel, Danny. That's the key. I got a convoy I like to make friends with. No. We need Carlito. Push-ups never lie. I like these young guerrillas. They remind me of, well, me, only smaller. And it's going to take a lot more than a basement full of little me's to win this war. The time has come, baby Tigre. We need Carlito. The fifth legendary member of the 67th Revolution, and the toughest motherfucker I ever knew. Soldados would kiss their pantalones when they came face to face with him. You know the expression, two birds with one stone? Well, Carlito once shot down two planes with one bullet. He is a national treasure. That was before he retired and went to work in the museum. The regime has put him in a cage to be insulted by filthy true Yaran turistas. His true destiny is on the field of battle. I'll meet you at the museum. Together we will free Carlito from his prison. Castillo has many bullets, but we will have Carlito. And Listen Carlito up. only needs one. It's game time, Danny. El Tigre. I'm at the museum. So am I. I photographs of us when we were young and dumb. Put your gun away and walk in like a turista. We will work together. Tigre! It's Carly! 
you through a fucking tank? Of course. What were you expecting? I've got the gun, baby tigre. You take the wheel. Let's get out of here. Carlito's busted. I can't exactly carry him out of here. He just needs a little love. You can fix him. El Tigre and Carlito together again. Baby Tigre, jump in the driver's seat. <laughs> I've got the gun. That Carlito was a tank. Yeah! Whoa! What are you talking about? It's Carlito! Everyone knows Carlito! Baby Tigre! There's a cave we use during La Revolution! Take a left at the road! Get to the nearby bridge! Nothing will stand in our way!
Whistle, you came. What the fuck is he doing here? I wanted him to see Carlito for himself. <laughs> Mi compay. How many years since you've been down this mountain? Too many. Carlito and I, we have a lot of good memories. Time to make some new ones. You should join us, hermano. War is over. When we are all free. Si! <laughs> hey, come. Come on, it's gonna be good. I'm good. Come on. Carlito did some renovations at the museum. We need to There's these farmers in Sombrado Gorge. They're super fans of La Moral. Actually, they're super fans of me. They were part of my fan club when I was on the national team. They tipped us off to this special convoy that always rolls through Shao Pass. We put together a smash and grab attack plan, and I told my super fans to sit tight until they hear the word knuckleball. Nobody knows what this fancy combo is carrying, but we know it's valuable. Benitez always slams it with crazy security. A hundred soldados. Danny, we need you to hit the convoy. I'm sure you can handle this all by yourself. But if you want some help, my people are pumped and ready to go. I'll keep tabs on the convoy and let you know when it's near the pass. Don't know about you, but I fucking love hearing convoys. Fucking. I need you to go to the Grand Hotel Caballero. It used to be a resort for wealthy touristas, but Benitez converted it into some sort of prison torture hellhole. One of our fighters, Hugo, is being held there, which means he's got an appointment with the dentist, the regime's best interrogator. If the dentist gets any information out of him, we're fucked. He's got a good heart, but Hugo will crack like a fucking coconut. You need to stop that interrogation, whatever it takes. I already sent a scout to the hotel. She'll help when you get there. And one of Gilberto's people can get you past the guards if you hide in the back of his delivery truck. But you better hurry. The truck is leaving soon from the delivery yards. Benitez can't find out where we are, Danny. I am Gilberto Rosario, bachelor, performer, spy master for la revolución. You may have seen my better half on TV, Rosamel. Don't look so surprised. It's amazing what blue makeup and a pair of coconuts can do. The government thinks they're using Rosamel to influence the hearts and minds of Jarans. But Rosamel is the one choosing them. A little dance, a little wink, a lot of rum. And these military generals sing songs that could get their tongues cut out by Castillo. But Rosamel can't be everywhere at once, so I send out my chameleons. They blend in everywhere, become anyone, and they all report to me. My best, Sergio, has been working undercover at the stables. He has become very cozy with one Capitan Osvaldo Diaz, a target we've been watching for some time. He has given us the signal to rendezvous. But Dios mío, all my chameleons are in the field right now. Could you meet with Sergio Honey? I don't know what he needs, but I think he's in trouble. And you don't strike me as someone who's afraid of a little trouble. That backpack of yours is fabulosa. You're headed to the Grand Hotel Caballero. Driving up to the hotel. I can sneak you past the guards. Hop in.
me. What's your business? Delivery from command. Yeah? Okay. Open up and let's take a look. I don't know. It's only for your boss to open. I don't even know what's inside. The fuck are you talking about? Hey, that's what I was told. You can open it if you want. The dentist said nobody was allowed to look inside. <coughs> oh, it's for her. Fuck that. Go on. Head up. Dentists were always late. Not this one. Elena, the dentist is dead. La Morale is safe. For now. <sighs> That's fucking great news, Danny. Oh, and I'm working on a gift for you. Gift? The hotel. I'm taking it. They have tortured their last guerrilla here. You sure you're not La Morale, Danny? I'm just saying. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want the people of Yara to know about the conflict? <laughs> conflict? 
It's business as usual. Look, in spite of all the rumors going around, there's no war, at least not here in Eastern Yara. Am I right, Admiral? This is not a war. Yeah. The criminals of La Libertad will be stopped. Yeah. They're few, we are many. You hear that? And... Libertards? This means chica. She means business. And what about the violent gang known as La Moral? Anyone who attacks Yara's military or a business interest is not a true Yaran. My strategy... And I helped her with the strategy. I've got decades of experience. I ran a security firm. The East is safe. Am I right? Right. No prea capas, por nada. That's a cut. I gotta go. Señor Presidente. Admiral, so lovely to hear your voice. If I could ask, how is it that a group of school children in El Este are inflicting the highest number of active duty casualties of this war? Admiral? They, um, they have support from Libertad and the Legends. I've always taken a personal interest in your career. Handpicked you out of the academy. But make no mistake, there were more experienced, more qualified, and more intelligent officers in line before you. You stood out for one simple reason. Si, señor presidente. You were a woman in uniform. And now you could be the highest ranking woman ever to have her head on a pike. Gracias, señor presidente. Hi, my friend. Hi. Hey, comadre. 